welcome back to Rich Reviews and you join us today at a very secret, invite only, private, classic car track day at Goodwood. Look at these cars. So we're here on Invite with JD Classics and we're just on the Goodwood start line having lined some of the cars up for a classic car photograph. A parade lap with the classic cars. This is just an initial parade lap to bring it back um, to bring it back into the paddock area um, after we've done the photographs on the start line. And I'm driving the RS2000. So this is obviously an old carburetted car with one of those big turbos, an old style big turbo. So if I open it up now, coming down this straight, you'll you'll hear the turbo kick in just as I come just as we come around this corner. It's like the old style engineering. the RS2000 was all about. You think it's docile to begin with, but when you actually punch it and open it up, that turbo really kicks in and gives it a real good boost. We're in the paddock here at Goodwood, so we're just going to talk you through some of the cars that are here that are going around the circuit. We've got an M2 competition here. You guys must know what this car is. It's an RS 2.7. Look at it. Brilliant. And this has been ragged around the track. Awesome. MG. We've got another Triumph here. I'm not too sure what this actually is. It might be some, it looks like a frog eyed, but I'm not too sure. Um, but walk around, further around here. BMW M4, 458 Spider. This sounds awesome going around the track. Mercedes AMG GT. And if you just keep walking around, obviously a Lotus here, Lotus Lease. And then on this, the person who owns this car is actually, this is like a resto mod. He's, he's built this car up himself and he's built the truck himself as well. So the actual carrier, he has built himself too. I'd say the truck is my favorite part of that setup. It's a, it's a very cool truck, very unique. They're just pulling up an MG onto a trailer here. This is the workings of a proper true paddock during a track day. And here we have a 964 RS. So you've got the 2.7 RS, we've got a 964 RS here. This is in ruby stone. A beautiful colour. Very common for these 964 RSs to be coloured in this in this ruby stone colour. It's almost it looks like a pink, but it sort of is a variation of a pink. But it's very classic for the uh, for the 964 RSs. So this is the front section of the paddock, and this is the Cosworth 2000 that we're taking out on behalf of JD Classics. So JD Classics um, have this car. It's owned by a third party and this car is going to have an engine rebuild um, pretty, pretty soon in the near future. Um, but we've already taken this out for a parade lap and we're going to hopefully take this out on the track again. Um, we're not allowed to create any footage while we're out on the track because you're not allowed to have any, any freestanding um, utensils or any, you're not allowed to have any freestanding bits and pieces. Just got a, a GT3 RS coming out from the track here. You're not allowed to have any 
bits and pieces in the car in effect that can be thrown around and can cause injury so that's understandable so obviously we can't use a full-blown digital camera in the car um, and you're not supposed to use any camera equipment at all unless it's fixed and located in two places so any suction mount systems have to be located at another point as well but this is the Cosworth 2000 pretty cool car I remember these cars back in the day back in my youth these were the car to have and the characteristics of driving this car is, is very cool and very surreal because it it feels pretty gutless to be honest um, when you start out but when you get the turbo to kick in wow does that give you a bit of a slam back into the sea so it's all about the turbos on this car it's all about the turbo um, and that was what the idiosyncrasies of this car were it was always said that you know that this is pretty docile until you get the turbo kick in and it's all about the turbo power so we'll uh, give you some feedback on what this car is like we've just got a california coming back off the track here on the right hand side so just giving you a tour of the interior now got the old style recaro cloth seats bucket seats these are actually fairly comfortable not like a modern day sort of sports racing seat though very less a lot less supportive than the modern day race supporting seat it's got a race uh, gearbox in there so this is a very close ratio very much a short shift system so it's very very close the gear changes are very close to each other which is um, very good especially when you're out on track you see our helmets there because we've already been out on um, on track for the parade lap and it's um it's not like the quality that you get of a modern car nowadays um, with regards to the interior you've got the, the cloth sections mid sections on the door cards but you know this is plastic um, but it's how these um, it's how these Cosworth 2000s were built and of course one of the key defining aspects of the Cosworth 2000 the wing on the back <laughs> you can't miss that bugger <laughs> but yeah pretty cool pretty cool very rare that you see these especially out on the track there the RS Cosworths very rare but very much for my era the 1980s cars <laughs> This GT3 RS has been doing a lot of circuits of the track today. Now this is a 991.2 GT3 RS with the YSAC pack. You can see all the different characteristics of the YSAC package with the carbon fibre front bonnet and carbon fibre roof. This is all weight reduction. I believe this is also a thinner glass as well on the front of the on the front of the car and on the rear car rear of the car. This isn't actually glass on the back. This is um, like a, a Perspex variant but it's not actually perspex, I'm not too sure what they call it. And obviously you've got the big YSAC wing as well on the back, which is carbon fiber too. You have 21 inch wheels on these, so they really fill out the wheel arches. But if you look at the discs and calipers, they're actually, I'm not gonna touch them because they're red hot, because the car's just been out on track. I could feel the heat there as my fingers got quite close to the disc. But these are steels, they're not carbon ceramics even though it's got yellow calipers. Remember, the yellow calipers usually denotes carbon ceramics, but it's not their steels. And that's because of track use. If you use carbon ceramics, yeah, they're better for track, but also they, they degrade a lot quicker on track. So um, they're using steels here, which is, which is good to see as well. And quite often you don't need carbon ceramics on track. It's a bit of a fallacy. It's a way, way of these companies, to be honest, making money. If you're really pushing it hard and you're racing a car, then yes, you need carbon ceramics. But again, this situation I've talked about before, you have to make sure you let the carbon ceramics cool down. You have to do a, cool, a proper cool down lap to cool down the carbon ceramics. Otherwise, you could be in a situation of having to replace the discs, which is hyper expensive, especially for Ferraris. So we're going to close out from this secret classic track day at Goodwood as an MG Hammers Pass. If you like the video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up, give it a like, very important for the channel. If you're not subscribed, please think about subscribing. It doesn't cost you anything to do so, and you can unsubscribe at any time you want. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'm gonna say goodbye from Goodwood now. Catch you in the next video.